Hey everybody, how are you all today in YouTube world? Well, today I'm going to talk about something very important, which um, a lot of you may have not heard or you may have heard of it. And it's called a disease called Raynaud's. Okay, so Raynaud's uh, October is a, uh, we're celebrating uh, Raynaud's Association this month. Uh, it is a considered to be, uh, it used to be considered a rare disease, but it's getting known uh, more and more. And I told you all that I suffer with the autoimmune disorder. So I have a mixed connective tissue disorder. And along with it, I have Raynaud's. So what is Raynaud's? Uh, Raynaud's, uh, I'll give you a little background, but basically Raynaud's is named for the French physician, Maurice Raynaud. Uh, and this person first recognized uh, this condition back in 1862, okay? So this disease, what it does is cause an interruption of blood flow to the fingers, toes, nose, ears. And then when a, uh, when a spasm occurs um, in the blood vessels of these areas, so that's what, that's what goes on. So spasms are basically caused by, and I'm reading, y'all, so if y'all see me looking over, I'm actually reading something because this is, uh, I want to give y'all the correct information. But uh, spasms, they are caused by exposures to cold. Or they say emotional stress, which is probably true. Uh, and so these these digits or these extremities are usually uh, can turn white, blue, or red. Okay, and over the course of the whole tax, so they can go from white to blue to red, and uh, they can last from minutes to hours okay but uh what you normally feel is like tingling you can have some swelling or you can just have painful throbbing so in severe cases you can develop ulcerations or infections in which both of these can lead to gangrene and you can lose digits so it's a very serious disease and people take it lightly and we just want you to be aware of sometimes when people on the outside look normal, but on the inside, they got a lot of issues going on. And of course, I got my blue um, uh, bracelet on. It's called for Raynaud's Association, okay? Raynaud's Association. So you can go on the website, raynaud's.org. And sign up if you have any of these problems or if you even notice, like... Um, You've had some of these. You can go on there and go take a quiz to see if you actually have these problems. Have you ever seen your fingertips turn white? And uh, when I first noticed it, I noticed it uh, because, like I said, I have a uh, autoimmune disorder. So they can come in two different types. You can have a primary disease. Uh, and that means that you have no association with any kind of disorder. You don't have any kind of health ailments. It just shows up and mostly uh, due to cold or stress. So you can also have a secondary condition uh, that's related to other disease, such as uh, it's called scleroderma, lupus, or rheumatoid arthritis, okay? Now listen to this. Approximately 5 to 10% of all Americans, 5 to 10% of all Americans suffer from Raynaud's, but only 1 out of 10 seek treatment okay and i'll tell you a little bit about the treatment both men and women suffer from Raynaud's, but mostly women and uh and it's usually in childbearing ages uh okay so even though Raynaud's has been uh recognized over 100 years it's still little known about of the diseases. So we just want to uh, raise awareness. And if you have Raynaud's or if you don't, maybe don't know that you have Raynaud's, if your fingers feel tingly, numb, or have a painful throb in your toes, and even if they turn white, blue, or red, and you think very red, I'm talking about red, you know, pretty red where you see them, but 
Mine is usually triggered by cold weather, and sometimes it don't, it's not even cold. And also, I, you can order Raynaud gloves. You can, uh, my doctor always tell me, uh, just protect yourself from the cold. Well, like, how do you protect yourself from the cold? So it's very, uh, a lot it's not a lot known about it but we're trying to raise awareness and i am trying to raise awareness for this month because this is when it is um dealt with and talked about and i have a t-shirt that say right now it's association and y'all it is it can be a debilitating because it i stand and my feet be completely numb and then you can look at the bottom of it and i have white speckles all over my feet where I've lost the um, circulation. But, you know, you have to walk around and wear gloves in the summer. You have to wear gloves in the winter, especially. You can have, uh, we have arthritis gloves where your fingertips are out. And you think if your fingertips are cold, but it's protecting our hands from the circulation, the gloves with the tips out. So, yes, you may see me wearing gloves in church, or you may see me wear gloves around when it's not even really cold, but that's just part of the disease. And then I wear sweaters in the summertime just to protect myself from cold because I want all 10 of my fingers. I know this is five, but I'm saying five, five, ten. I need all my digits. So uh, just uh, if you know anybody that has Raynaud's or if you uh, think you may have it, just be aware of what's going on and you're not crazy. You're not crazy. Because a lot of times I was thinking, what in the world? My fingertips started turning. One finger turned completely white all the way down. And I was like, it's numb. I had no feeling in it. And I'm like, what is going on with my finger? But uh, it was called Raynaud's. I had to go to the doctor at the Mayo Clinic. And they told me, of course, I go to a rheumatologist. And I see my rheumatologist every three months. And she said, yep, that's due to uh, when you have an autoimmune, your body will get the secondary diseases. And so I've got Raynaud's. So, uh, just, uh, be aware that, um, things that people may go that we don't always see just because I'm not walking around with, uh, certain things on or looking a certain way doesn't mean that somebody doesn't have a, uh, a, a disorder, a problem, uh, with their health. So, uh, I see a lot of times I get, I have a, um, uh, disabled tag on my car and when I get out of my car I may be going to Target or Walmart or I've even been to Panera and uh, people walk around when I get out the car and look at my tag and they'll even be bold enough to say where's your handicap tag just because I'm not old do you think I may not have a disability so I have a disability and we and and people think just because I don't have a tag and I'm young they feel privileged because they're older and they should have a handicap tag and I have a handicap tag on my license plate but I I will tell the people look at my license plate and just because I can get out of my car and I can walk uh, doesn't mean I don't have a problem. Um, my mixed connective tissue, and I'll come back and talk about that later, but my mixed connective tissue disorder caused me to have lots of problems, lots of pain, lots of pain in my joint, and uh, lots of body aches. I also have fibromyalgia, so I take, I'm on several different type of medication, but I did want to real quick talk about the medication they give. Since there is not a lot of um, understanding about the disease, they offer you um, what they call, well, you, you don't know what I'm talking about. They offer you a blood pressure medicine. Well, it's a blood pressure pill for Raynaud's because blood pressure causes a constriction in your blood. Your vessels will con, uh, 
narrow and the blood that can, goes through there cannot flow. So they give you a blood pressure pill to keep the pressure, your vessels open. So I guess that causes your fingers not to be numb. Well, anyway, uh, it's hard to take it because my blood pressure is lower on the lower end. So they don't want to give me the blood pressure pills to cause me to bottom out of my blood pressure. So I have to live with this. So pretty much 365 days of the year, I deal with this pain and throbbing and numbness and achy in my fingertips and my toes all the time. And uh, it's hard, but uh, I just want you to be aware it is uh October awareness for Raynaud's and look it up and research it. And if you know somebody who has it, um, you know, encourage them and say something positive to them. So, and for me, be praying for me. If you really pray a praying person, pray for me. Uh, and I appreciate you taking this time to listen to my um, um, video today and thumbs up my video share it like comment and subscribe please thumb up the video i know i say this but it's so important if you thumb up my video share this video with people that you may know have a mixed connective tissue disorder or ray nods thank you